Okay, so to build upon this election map here that we made, um, I want to talk about uh, another data source that you can find, and that is the uh, tabular data sets that you can find at any web page. So what I want to talk about is Hillary Clinton's, what, where did she, what cities did she visit during the 2016 campaign? And so uh, I found this website for this tutorial, and it's pretty nice because it actually uh, really neatly shows everywhere, every city that she visited during certain months of the election. So for this tutorial, I'm only going to focus on September and October, which are the two closest months, months to the November election. Just kind of this, this really was the crunch period. So I'm going to click on September. And you see what it does is it gives you a list of all the data sets, I mean, all the, the events that she went to, which city did she go to, with the day she went to, and also who were the speakers. So was it Hillary Clinton by herself? Was it Chelsea Clinton or any one of her supporters? Or did she uh, go with someone else? And it's like there's some where she might have gone with some other people. Um, so what we can do is we can take this tabular data and map it using something known as geocoding. So how do you do that? <laughs> you select everything, <laughs> like so. And what I'm doing is I'm just uh, holding the selection tool, and I'm also just scrolling down using the scroll wheel on my mouse just to select everything at once, like so. So we want all this data. So I'm going to Control C to copy that. We're going to open Microsoft Excel, make a new workbook, and we're going to paste that information, like so. See, it literally brings in that information as a table, nice and, nice and neatly. I'm going to go to the bottom of this table because I want to also add the events that she went to in October as well. So I'm going to go back one page. I'm going to go to October. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, this time I'm going to start selecting from the, uh, not from the header, but from the first line of data because I'd already have the header uh, from the information I copied uh, from the September data set. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, select everything. Control C, and then in the Excel table, I'm just going to click on the next line and Control V to paste that. So now we have every single event, campaign event, that Hillary Clinton did in September and October in a nice table. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean up this data set right here. Um, I'm going to select everything by clicking on this uh, right or left arrow. Go to this uh, button right here. I'm going to remove the hyperlinks first, so that removes some of the uh, web links here. Go to remove hyperlinks like that. And then I'm going to also do this clear format as well. And that just sees, it just cleans up the entire uh, uh, data set to be nice and neat. And then I can just uh, click on formats, auto fit column width to make this a nice clean data set. And you see it's, it works really well. Um, for this date line here, uh, this actually converted this to a numerical format, so I'm going reconvert to reconvert this to a date format by right-clicking on the column, uh, format cells, and we're just going to set this as a date, and just whatever the first type is, and just click OK, and this reconverts it back to a uh, date. So there we go. We have a nice list of dates, locations, types of events, and also the speaker. So when you have that set up, click on File, Save As. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And I'm going to call this one uh, Hillary Campaign Events 2016. Oops. And the format that you want to save it as is you want to save it always as a CSV, this format right here. This is the best format um, to use for geocoding information. So click on CSV, and it's kind of confusing because there's also these other CSV formats like CSV Macintosh, CSV MS-DOS. Use this one, the first one, CSV comma delimited, this one right here. To click save, uh, just click yes to the next screen, then you're done. So then just close out of here. And you have on your, data set, on your desktop uh, Hillary Campaign Events 2016 CSV data set. Um, 
So uh, on Google Chrome, I want you to go to maps.google.com, which is the best geocoder of all time. If I want to find the location of anything in the world, say, I don't know, Cat Cafe or something, you know, I just type in anything and I find the Mau House Cat Cafe, a living minute drive, a living minute drive from my house. So this is where I'll be hanging out on the weekend. Um, but literally, you can type in anything in here and it'll find the location of it, right? So you can actually use Google Maps to geocode all your locations if you have something in a table. And the way you do that is you go to this little option on the side. I'll just go to this little menu and click on this thing called Your Places. This is like this cool feature that Google has right now. If you click on that, um, you can make a map by clicking on this map here and click on Create Map. And so this brings up a basically a blank map of the world. And on the side here, let's make, make, call this map uh, Clinton Events. And on the side here, there is this little import button. See, import data from a CSV file, spreadsheet, or KML. So if you click on that, bring in that uh, CSV Hillary campaign events that you just made. So it'll just bring it in here. It's going to upload that data. And so it's going to ask you, how do you want to find a location? So that data set, remember we had a location. Uh, column that gave a city basically. So it's, it's basically going to take that column, it's going to Google search it and get a location using Google Maps. So click continue and then it's going to say choose a column to title your markers. So in this case we'll title it by the speaker, you know, who spoke at this uh, city. So click on finish, and just give it a second and you'll see that uh, it's pretty powerful. It looks re works really well. There were some inv events in Europe and Asia, but those weren't really election events. But you can see now you have geocoded every single uh, campaign event, and you kind of, if you zoom in, for instance, you can St. Louis. There was one event, and which event was that? Of course, it was the presidential debate um, in October. Um, but you can kind of see most of the campaign activity happened in these swing counties right here and no one really visited out here except for major cities in Colorado and that kind of thing. You can kind of see that Hillary Clinton went to maybe one event in San Francisco. Let me see. Um, yeah, Hillary Clinton spoke at one event and this really was just her preaching to the choir. It really wasn't, a, wasn't something to uh, get convince people to vote for her. Really the, the main campaign activity happened in these swing areas right here these swing, swing counties. Okay, so this is great. It's in Google. It's on the web. We want to bring this into GIS. So the way we do that is to right click or click on this little uh, set of options here and you want to click on the export to KML option. Um, and then just say export entire map. Um, and then uh, you don't need to check any of these boxes. Just click download. It's going to download a KMZ file. And then you want to open that KMZ file in, uh, oops, it's not, it's, uh, not Photoshop. Close. You want to open it in, um, uh, so you got to open Google Earth Pro and you got to open that uh, KMZ or KML file. In this case, I believe it's saved in my, uh, okay, so when you have Google Earth Pro open, open up that exported uh, KMZ file. So go to open, uh, I believe I saved it. My downloads, where did I save it? Hang on. Um, so just give that a second. It usually takes a, a minute or a couple of seconds just to load, but okay, there we go. So you can see that is the exact same map uh, that you produced in uh, uh, Google Maps. It's just slowly loading up. So I'm just gonna give it a second to load all the, all the areas. Um, and then what you want to do um, is you want to take this data set here and you want to export that to a KML file. And the way you do that is you right click on this, save place as, I'm going to save it as a KML, I'll call it Clayton Events, export to. It seems weird to have to export it twice. Um, if I try to bring in this KMZ that came straight from Google Maps into uh, ArcMap, sometimes it does not work. So, but I found that this actually does work most of the time. So that's why I'm exporting it from Google Map, uh, Google Earth Pro again. And Google Earth Pro is free, as you guys all know. So it should be fine. And now in ArcMap, we're back to this drawing right here. Go to the Arc Toolbox. So I'm 
clicking on the Arc Toolbox. You want to go to the Conversion Tools, and then there's this option called From KML. So click on KML to Layer, double click on that. Input KML file, you want to find on your desktop that one thing you just made, so it's this Export to KML. Um, I just leave the output location as is, and I just leave this as is. Because we're going to take this data set and export it again when, when it's in, when it's in uh, GIS. Let's just give it a second. And when it's done, it's a very interesting drawing. OK, so it's coming successfully. Um, and you can see it's located correctly. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. Uh, it's really the points layer right here. I'm going to right click on that, go to data, export data. And now this is going to be your final export after all these exports. I'm going to call this one. Hillary Clinton uh, campaign. Click save, click OK. And then I'm going to remove this guy here. And now you have these are all the stops that Clinton made uh, in the US campaign. And now you see why these states are yellow and uh, blue. It's because the, and why those are areas that they visited. Because these really are the areas that you want to focus on if you want to win the election, is you want to focus on the areas that you can potentially win. You don't really want to visit, if you're Hillary Clinton, vote, vote, go to these any like predominantly red states because it's not worth it. It's not worth the time and money to spend all your money on these areas that you know you're not going to win. You want to focus on these uh, states right here, these hotly contested states. And as you can see, this data lines up uh, really well with uh, the actual election results. And you can see if you open up the campaign uh, layer here, all this information about who spoke at which event uh, is here, and then all the other information about that is in here as well. So backing up for a second, what we did was we took this list of information here, right? And we now have successfully geocoded it and brought it into uh, GIS using those few simple steps.